having fun at home with your parents, with your brothers, with your sisters and your family together. Now, I want you all to follow the corona advisory given by the government, like to wash your hands regularly and to stay at home. The lesson that I'll be teaching you today is our earth and the moon. The subtopic that I'll cover is the earth and its layers. Now, our universe consists of galaxies, stars, planets and satellites. Let us first understand what a galaxy is. Now, there are many galaxies in the universe. Ours is the Milky Way. So this is an image taken by NASA which shows the Milky Way. This is the sun here. And there are planets, stars and satellites here. So, the star. Star is a huge glowing ball of gases. The stars that shine up above in the sky are these twinkling stars and also the sun. Sun also is considered as a star. It gives us heat and light. Sun is the nearest star to our planet Earth. Now, planets. What are planets? Planets are large round objects in the space which move around the sun or a star. Now, if you look at this here, so there are eight planets in our solar system. Mercury comes first, Venus, then Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus and Neptune. So these are the eight planets in our solar system. Now let us talk about satellite. What are satellites? Satellites are objects that orbit a planet such as moon. So you can see the moon here, right? So this is the planet Earth and moon is a natural satellite which has no light of its own. It reflects the light which it gets from the sun. So this was about our universe where our planet is. So our planet Earth, do you think life is possible any, on any other planet? No, it is not. It is only possible on our planet Earth. Why do you think so? Yes, you're thinking it right. So Earth has water and oxygen which is required by us to live at a place. So talking about the layer, so there are basically three layers of earth. The first layer is the crust, then comes mantle, then comes the core. Core is divided into two parts, we, which we will learn in the, uh, in the coming slides. Crust is the outermost layer and it is the thinnest layer. If you compare this layer with the other three layers, you will see that this is the thinnest layer and uh, whatever you see on this layer such as uh, the soil, the rock and the water bodies or whatever is there on the surface is on the crust. So life is also possible only on this layer. Moving on to the next slide that is mantle. This is the second layer. Now, mantle is the thickest layer. As you all can see here, this is the thickest layer of the planet Earth. So this is the second layer. Also, it consists of hot molten rocks, minerals and metals. Right? Moving on to the next layer. Core. Core is the innermost layer, which you all can see here. This is the innermost layer. Now, the Core is divided into two parts, which is the outer core and the inner core. This is also the hottest part of the earth. Now, the outer core consists of hot liquid substances and the inner uh, core consists of solid state of substances. Okay, children. Now this was all about the layers of our planet Earth. 
I want you all to do an activity at home. You can use Play-Doh if you have. Otherwise, you can also use the wheat dough. You can ask your mama to make dough for you so that you can make a model of it. What I want you to do is, I want you to make a ball, big ball, and then using paint brush and colors, make different layers, show different layers by painting it. Okay? Also, I want you to click a picture of it so that when we come back to school, we can have lots of fun by discussing it. Thank you so much. Have a nice day and stay safe.